been uh, using Rogaine for the last uh, 10 years. <laughs> Some of you guys are wondering, oh, does that, does that stuff work? Uh, the answer is uh, no. <laughs> uh, it does not work. So this is it. I know this is, these are the last days of my hair. I gotta soak it up now and do all the stuff that only guys with hair can do. Well, I still got the hair to do it. You know, I gotta get a perm or fuck a bald man's wife. <laughs> I grew this, this beard to help distract from it. I think it's working. I'm sure you, n none of you guys noticed until I... <laughs> Certainly better, better than what I had before, before I grew a mustache. Because I thought that would help distract, distract from the balding. I, I don't know what I was thinking there. I was like, oh, no one will notice I'm losing my hair if I just make myself look gayer and creepier. <laughs> Why bother getting a mustache? You know, I just put on some cut-off jean shorts, pet lizards, start rollerblading around the neighborhood, just... Clear, uh, I'm not saying that gay people are creepy. I'm saying that me with a mustache look both gay and creepy. It's a combo, a two for one. It's weird. Um, a lot of my friends uh, are getting married and have kids. And I'm not. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry about the mustache thing. I mean, I'm invite you I'll see you later. Fucking took a knee on that mustache joke. <laughs> I can't abide. <laughs> I'm just glad. I, uh, <laughs> it is weird, all my friends like married and kids, and I, I don't have any of that stuff. We're just at such different points in our lives, it's hard to relate. I was like, hey man, you, you want to see my baby? He's like, not really. <laughs> want to smell my finger? Not really. <laughs>